Now they have waited for more than four decades and it appears about 90,000 Vietnam vets will have to wait a little bit longer. The group known collectively as Blue Water Navy veterans were exposed to the toxic uh, chemical Agent Orange. A bill that would force the VA to give those vets needed medical treatment seems to be stalled in the Senate. 13 is now military reporter Mike Gooding has the details. These veterans are sick and dying and, and, and they're being deprived of benefits that they have earned. During the Vietnam War, the United States sprayed an estimated 20 million gallons of chemical herbicides and defoliants collectively known as Agent Orange on Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. The effects on veterans more than four decades later have been well documented. Increased rates of cancer including acute and chronic leukemia and Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and nerve, digestive, skin, and respiratory disorders. Yet many who served on Navy ships in the vicinity are still ineligible for help from the Department of Veterans Affairs. The Blue Water Navy Vietnam Veterans Act of 2018 would change that, getting the vets the benefits and treatment they need. Today in Washington, there was another call for action. If we wait long enough, it won't matter because they'll all be gone. Despite passing in June in the House 382 to nothing, the Senate has so far not taken up the measure, even though both of Virginia's senators have voiced support for it. Regardless of whether they served on land or at sea, those who've fallen victim to Agent Orange deserve access to the same benefits and compensation. We, th we owe these great defenders of our liberty, no less. Critics complain the bill relies on unproven science and would cost $1.1 billion over 10 years. Supporters vow to fight again in 2019. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.